let go. Those were terrifying words for me when I'm in a toxic relationship. Not only in just this this one particular narcissistic journey, but in all of them that was toxic for me. Let go was the hardest thing, the scariest thing. And I don't understand why, because... That toxic thing is what's holding back all our blessings. This is what I visioned in my mind just then. All those times God kept telling me to let go. See, God got us on a string. And whenever... I ain't going to say whenever. Okay, so God got us on a string. And because he's given us free will to make the choice to love and serve him or to go our own way and do things how we want to do things or whatever. But when he truly, truly, truly does love you and he love everybody, don't get me wrong. But when he coming for you, and he got his hands on you. He started pulling that string again a little bit by a little bit. You still out there. I was still out there doing my thing. And I'm talking about myself. I don't know if it, if the shoe fit, wear it, but I'm talking about me. I was out there. My string was way out there. And when I get too far, God starts to pull me in just a little bit so I can remember who I'm serving. Because he give us free will, like I said. And so with that little freedom that he gave me, he still was there showing me that he is, he's never left my side. Like a parent, I'm allowing you to make your mistakes and I'm going to correct you when you're wrong. And he did that. He kept telling me, let go. But me, in my child state, is like, Lord, I don't want to let him go. I love him. I see the good in him. I want to be with him and I'm, I'm going to continue praying to you. And I know you can fix him. I have faith in him. I have faith in you that you would change him around and, you know, make him who he's supposed to be to me. While I'm sitting here praying to God to change him, I also started praying for God to change me. Lord, I can't do this by myself. Lord, I need you to help me because I can't see clearly where I'm headed right now. And I need you to at least keep my eyes open a little bit so that I don't get lost in the dark place. And every time I healed myself and I got a little bit stronger and a little bit better in loving me, the dark would come back and steal all all of that stuff back from me then I'm left empty again and now I gotta start all over again healing and getting myself together loving on myself again because when the narc comes back do I stop loving on myself just a little bit yes I do each time I realized that when he came back I started pushing me to the back burner not necessarily him but I pushed myself to the back burner because why I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, I got to keep this relationship glued together because I want us to work out and I want us to be together and I see the potential in him and that's what I'm holding on to and that's what's keeping me stuck. That potential that I see in him and it's not doing anything good for me. I'm still getting blessed in the situation, but the way God really wants to bless me, he not going to give it to me and I got This joy killer, this life sucking bug in my life, because when God bless you with the things that he's going to give you, he don't want nobody else around that's going to destroy it for you. He wants you to enjoy it. Every time I've gotten out or just, you know, threw my hands up with, okay, I'm going to let it go. God started showing me this back to that string. 
he pull your string to get you back when you done strayed too far away from him. And he's trying to show you that if you just let go, because this person is on the other end pulling you. So you playing tug of war with yourself, your love, your life, your walk with Christ. You playing tug of war with this person over here who don't want you to have nothing good. Who don't want nothing good for you at all. And I sat back and I'm thinking about this now, right now. And I'm like, he been pulling on me for so long and everything God wants to do for me, long as I'm holding on to him, I'm not going to get them things. And I want to go somewhere in life. I don't want to be stuck tied to somebody who ain't trying to go nowhere, but trying to get over on the next person to get what they want. That ain't how I'm living. I'm a very um, independent person. I like to do things on my own. I like to get things for myself. The one I was attached to wanted everybody to give them everything that they had. Everything. When I said he was waiting on somebody to give him a house, waiting on somebody to give him a car, waiting on somebody to help his business blow, blow up or whatever. I'm not waiting on nobody to do nothing for me. And that's how he lived. But I can see that when I was in the mess with him. So one day after I decided to let go, this would be last year. I let go, but I turned around and I let him come back in, which is where I'm at in this journey right now. I let it go. So after I let him go and I started to love on myself. Blessings just came out of nowhere. Nowhere. And I should have been. When I seen the blessings, they should have been so illuminated to me that I don't want to go back to him. But it wasn't because I couldn't see the, the clear picture then. But I see it now. So. After we separated or whatever last time around. God keeps telling me he going to provide all of my needs. I'm telling you, I ain't went without nan time. I ain't went without nan time. God keeps saying, I got you. You just got to let go. But I'm scared and I'm terrified of letting go because I love this person, this toxic person who keeps hurting me. Who keeps treating me like I'm not worth being treated like somebody. I'm I'm scared of letting this thing go. Which is crazy to me now. But I was holding on to that thing. So, back to last year. I'm in the grocery store. I'm shopping or whatever. I got a cart full of food. With this cart full of food it don't look like I need anything but God seemed different I'm standing there ringing up my groceries and all of a sudden out of nowhere I see a hand and I see cash drop down on the scanner while I'm scanning my groceries I'm like what in the world So I turn around to catch the person who just landed that money there. And I'm just like, wait, what are you doing? She was just like, God bless you. I love you. Have a great day. This lady said $200 on the scanner while I'm scanning my basket full of groceries. Set $200 down there and walked away. And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I am good. She said, God bless you. Have a nice day and I love you. And I said, can I at least give you a hug? And she said, yes, ma'am. Gave the lady a hug and I told her, thank you. I didn't feel like I needed the money at the time. I had money in my pocket. I had groceries in my buggy. I didn't think I needed that money at the time, y'all. But because you never know what's around the corner. And when I say God say he got me, he got me. I didn't know that my check was going to be a little bit shorter when I got it because they messed up on my paycheck or whatever when I got paid and I needed them $200. 
So that way, I can still have my bills paid. All of them. That $200 that lady laid up there on that scanner is just what I needed. And I still had extra money in my pocket. I'm telling you, we got to stop being afraid of the let go. I was terrified and I was scared of being, of the idea of letting go of the toxic person. I don't know why that just landed on me so hard, but I was sitting here thinking and I'm just like, wow. I've been playing tug of war with God to keep a a toxic person in my life who's holding up all of my blessings that God is trying to give me. And he knocking on my forehead saying, hey, girl, wake up. It's time to wake up now. I'm trying to do something for you. But if you keep holding on to this thing right here, I can't do it for you. And I'm just like, wow. So now that I have let go fully let go God blowing my socks away right now I ain't even gonna lie to you he blowing my socks away things are happening that I have never imagined don't be afraid of the let go sit with yourself look at the big picture and think about what's in store If you let go, because if you let go of something that ain't no good for you, God got you. And if he's already been saying to you, let go. It's him. It's him saying that to you and he got you. Whatever you let go, he going to replace it. A hundred folds over, maybe sometimes a thousand folds over. You just got to have faith and let and, and just do it. And let God love on you because he got you. I'm telling you, he's been loving on me because I'm telling you, your girl was afraid of the let go. When people would say, you got to let this thing go. In my mind, I'm like, I hear you, but it ain't that easy. And I don't want to let this thing go. I want this thing to get better, but it ain't meant for you. It ain't meant for me. It just ain't meant for me. You'll feel him pulling on them strings. He'll be pulling on you and you'll start hearing things, seeing things. Trust the process and have faith that if you let go, God going to pick you back up and he going to sit you straight up. Set you up. So you can be blessed in the face of your enemies. He going to prepare that table. And I'm telling you, he preparing my table. That's what I just thought of, y'all. That thing hit me like a ton of bricks just then. I'm like, oh, my God. God been pulling on my string all this time. And I've been pulling, going against the grain, running straight towards destruction. And he trying to pull me back here to greatness. And no matter what he keeps showing me, I still keep going for the toxic thing. But not no more. I'm free. I ain't going back. God got too much for me. And I want everything he got for me. I want it all. I ain't finna let nobody ever get in the way of that. No more. If it means I got to be without you, I got to be without you. But I want what God got for me. So, y'all stay prayed up. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos. Comment, like, and share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much. Have a great day.